Hi guys, it's Cryptoraco here, and today we've got another very special video. Today's video, we're going to talk about Litepay. I did a video on Litepay a couple of days ago where I uh, gave my predictions of what could happen to the price, the technology, and today I'm going to update you guys as Litepay has been released. Before I get into this video, guys, I'd like to thank all of you for subscribing, my, subscribing to my channel, watching my videos, liking and sharing my videos, and just supporting me in my journey. I've only started my YouTube channel, and guys, you've, I've already got 200 subscribers. I didn't think I'd get 200 subscribers that quick, so thank you very much. And in today's video, guys, I'm also giving away half a Litecoin, so so as a thank you to all of you and the way I'll do it is guys I'm gonna go into my channel um, and pick one of the videos that helped me get to my hundred uh, subscribers the quickest and I think it was Tron this video where I reached my hundred subscribers or to reach most of my subscribers towards my hundred the goal of uh, reaching hundred subscribers so I'm gonna copy this link and there's a website called YouTube a uh, random uh, pick a random winner so I'm going to use that website now and then pick a random winner from people who've commented on this video um, and also one thing guys I was going to do another giveaway at 500 but I don't think I'd be able to do it I'm not loaded or a millionaire yet and um, so I'll, I'll probably do another giveaway when I reach a uh, thousand subscribers or nearer to thousand subscribers and what I'll do is I'll, I'll be slightly creative I'll do maybe a giveaway of a hardware wallet like um, Leisure um, or I'll maybe I'll give another half a like corner or a like corner away. Right, I'm not sure how this works, guys. I'll copy and paste my link for Tron video, and I think you pick a random winner. See what happens. Right, it's crypto takeover, crypto tackle over. Awesome video, man. Subscribe and notifications turned on. Hope. To receive a Litecoin. Thank you very much, Crypto Taka. Ta sorry, sorry, I can't pronounce your name. But anyways, mate, thank you very much. You're the winner for this um, half a coin, like half a Litecoin giveaway. I really appreciate all your help, guys, and um, keep supporting me. So now I'll be getting into my video. Right, guys, let's get into this video. So Litepay has been launched, but the Litepay card that we were looking forward to has been delayed, and they haven't given us a date when it will be released so i'm slightly disappointed uh, with with this launch because i was really really looking forward to it and it could have been something special for litecoin and cryptocurrency market as i've said in my last video so on their website all you can do now is just send an email to them and register and that's all you can do so you can't you, they haven't given us any more information and and i'm a bit disappointed because i think they should have given us a bit more information they're not saying what they're trying to do um what 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 it is what it actually is and stuff so they can definitely inform us and communicate with us a lot better what i have done is i have registered a business a business that i've got with my friend and um, i'll let you guys know what they come back to me with they haven't come back to me with anything yet so what they did was they sent us an email saying that um thank you for your interest Due to the recent hostile actions by card issuers towards cryptocurrency companies, we have decided that offering Litepay card registration at this time is imprudent. So that's what they that's what they've said. And um, I mean the negative. I'm I'm a bit disappointed with uh, Litecoin, so I'm having negative thoughts around it now. But a positive way of looking at it is they knew that it wasn't going to work, so that's why they haven't launched something just to get card registration, just to get more money in, and then not deliver. So that's a positive positive way of looking at it and a negative way is they could have communicated it to us better they knew already that they weren't going to launch it so they could have let us know beforehand um but that's my only thing bit negative so that's what i've said this is a steamer article that i've written and and i've i've even tried to contact them because their email didn't come out in in the uk uh, until later so I, I wasn't i didn't know what was going on so i i messaged him on twitter well i'm a, I'm a nobody on <laughs> on twitter so i, I wasn't thinking they was going to reply to me but i just asked him like what is going on i'm excited about it um can we have an update and it wasn't just me sending me a uh, tweet tweets and emails uh, loads of other people were and to be honest charlie lee actually liked one of my posts on twitter so i thought why not ask him it might be worth a shout but i've got few replies and people are just you know saying this email and loads of people are disappointed um 
there's articles talking about the same thing. It could have been something special uh, for Litecoin, but it, it wasn't meant to be. And what they were trying to achieve was a massive, massive thing. So I kind of understand, or not understand, I, I, I get why why they um, why they kind of delayed it or why they couldn't deliver. But look, I'm, I'm still bullish on Litecoin. It's a project that I like. And uh, Charlie Lee, actually, Charlie Lee's Twitter is awesome. Um, if you want to the most up-to-date news this is how i get more some information and learn and talk to people about crypto on twitter and reddit and um, charlie lee made a post and um, saying that he's more interested in merchants rather than the debit cards and um, so I'm, I'm not too sure about what he was trying to say um, but i still think having that connection with visa would have been great um, and he's just been talking to it that he's also disappointed. So, um, and he's saying, yeah, he's more excited of the merch, merch and processing side of the business than, than the visa. But I think both of them would have been good. And watch out for fake Charlie Lee's trying to give away Litecoins. And that's a dangerous thing. Um, but yeah, and then another interesting comment uh, Charlie Lee put was, why, why, are, why are the fans being so kind of demanding they Charlie Lee doesn't owe us the information it would have been nice for him to say it but we shouldn't be so demanding um like a you know a little brat that's what Charlie Lee said I'll, 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 I'll let you uh, make make up your mind on that comment on that tweet by Charlie Lee but that was uh, one of his tweets but yeah his his Twitter is awesome um if you want to the latest up-to-date information uh, follow him on Twitter follow me as well while you're at it and um, another interesting thing guys um the flappening I'm sure you've heard of it Charlie Lee sent a uh, posted a picture posted saying that the, uh, the flippening might not happen which is ethereum taking of a Bitcoin and I don't think it will happen um but flappening might happen where Litecoin uh, takes of a Bitcoin Cash and I'll, I'll do a video on Bitcoin Cash in the future. I'm not a fan of Bitcoin Cash at all, so I I can see it happening, but it's gonna be delayed now because light paying go off to uh, as good a start as as I would have hoped. Um, but in the future, I think in 2018 we might be seeing Litecoin more than Bitcoin Cash. Um, not anytime soon because of light paying it didn't deliver, but I I think Litecoin eventually would uh, take over Bitcoin Cash. Right, let's just do a quick uh, price analysis, my price predictions again. Guys, I don't want to do technical analysis because although I've got Forex experience, I've traded stocks and I'm, I'm, I'm experienced in the financial markets, technical analysis is very risky and I hate seeing random YouTubers or people giving technical analysis. I'm just giving my predictions and then make up your own mind. I'm just thinking out loud and um, sharing my views. This is not financial advice, but um, this is just my thoughts. So. As you can see, guys, there was a massive rise in Litecoin price before uh, the Litepay launch. And I said it in my last video that the price had already gone up. So the Litecoin to Bitcoin ratio uh, was at its highest, I think, during that time. So I didn't think it was going to rise anymore. And I said in my last video that it would move sideways. And if Litepay delivers, it will go up in the long run but it would move sideways or maybe a bit down if it doesn't deliver and um, so it has gone down I was tempted to sell it but I didn't sell it out of FOMO and um, but maybe I should have sold it but the cryptocurrency market is is uh, is not in I wouldn't say it's in the most stable state Bitcoin is at a very uh, critical resistance level so it could go either way so I'm not going into any more trades I made some money recently on my nano trade uh, check out nano that's a good coin um, it used to be Ray Blocks they've got some good things coming out so um, i'm gonna stay on the sidelines until i see what happens with bitcoin and the cryptocurrency market um but again in the long term guys i think litecoin would go up i'm a massive fan of litecoin uh, if you guys follow me you know that um but don't buy into coins out of fomo like take your time understand the project and if you like a project if you think it can deliver value to people then buy into it and and hold so uh, i'm gonna stay out of uh, trading for a bit especially after my uh, nano trade and, and then litecoin as well that it's actually gone up quite quite a bit as well um, about a week ago and compared to a year ago it's up massively so don't be scared don't they don't start saying like pays a scam litecoin is going down um just, or just look at it from a whole scale overview is it, where the blood coin is compared to a year ago is still is still crazy so 
if you believe in the project like myself hold or huddle if if you don't then obviously uh, make up your own mind and just to finally guys again litecoin has risen five times faster than uh, its big brother bitcoin i want to just finish on this note so litecoin in the long run is still a good project and what they're trying to do is amazing it was maybe a, a step too far but they're still trying uh, um, although i've gone slightly negative on on litecoin i'm still bullish in the long term so that brings us to an end to this video guys uh, thank you guys for watching if you have liked and enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much